Hello everybody, Van Berman here. Welcome to my video today or yesterday or depending on whenever it is that you are in fact watching this video. Now, <clears throat> I want to talk about a couple of things first. Um, I'll talk about Steambox. Uh, this is obviously my weekly update, so I'm not really sure what there is to say. What games have I been playing this week? Well, I've been playing The Witcher 2, I've been playing Chivalry, I've been playing uh, The Hardline beta, I've been playing a little bit of Trine as well, uh, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, no, that is literally all I've been playing, I've had a lot of work on seven days on in the last week, so yeah, didn't leave a lot of time, but I've been trying to uh, have as much go on the Steam box as I possibly can, it's doing really well at the minute, it's running pretty, pretty well. I've also installed some games on the Windows portion of things just to get some benchmarks of it. Uh, it's been running Rome 2, Total War, getting an average FPS of 57, and it's been running on Ultra as well, which is really impressive. I'm going to actually, with it, I'm going to do a whole test of it, see if you can stream on it, record on it, you know, do everything that I would normally do. Which of course you can, but as to what quality you're likely to get, you know, I presume my first opinions are you're gonna have to record in 720p. Um, you're gonna have to stream in 720p as well, just you know, so you don't lose a whole lot in frame rates. And hopefully you should be able to keep it at medium high settings and that sort of, uh, you know, with the recording with the streaming, which would be interesting results to get and actually would be very impressive results considering the cost of the machine. I also haven't had any problems with playing the games on the Steam OS either. It's been really good. It's actually worked pretty much as I wanted it to. There are some limitations with the Steam OS, but I'm going to go into that in the video, you know, when I actually do the proper uh, Steam release video. But for now, uh, I can tell you that it, it is doing pretty well. Would I buy one? I would buy one if I didn't have this computer, yeah, definitely. If I had a PlayStation 3 or maybe an Xbox 360 that I was still using, I think it would be a viable uh, option for uh, an upgrade. You know, that is each person's uh, preference, I suppose. Uh, what else do I have to say about this week? You know, have some water. This week, this week, this week, this week. Well, I do have a sort of job meeting interview next week, so I'll let you know how that goes. I don't want to speak too much about it at the minute because, you know, I don't want to. Uh, disrespect or disenfranchise my current employers, which, you know, I can't say any wrong of at the minute, or at all. <laughs> it's a weird thing about being under contract with all this certain stuff, but, oh well, never mind. Um, my One of my favourite shirts has unfortunately hit the dust, or bit the dust, I suppose, which uh, might not really mean much to you guys, but you probably will have seen me in, a, in this shirt in videos before. Um... Go on then, I'll, t I'll tell you the story of this shirt. Um, it does deserve a good send off, naturally. So this is my, this is the shirt which is now ripped, and oh, I found a rip on it this morning, so it's probably been, <laughs> probably was ripped the last time I wore it, but, um, where is it? It was on the sleeve here, here it is. Look at that, it's shit, I don't really, I don't really even know, that's terrible. Basically, for a very, very long time, well, no, yeah, this is the most expensive shirt that I own, and for a very long time, it was the most expensive bit of clothing that I uh, that I owned until I bought probably my Adidas high tops. So, so this, I bought this in France, or my grandma bought it for me in France, and I was, goodness me. Pretty sure I was 15. It was in the summer when I was 15, so I've had it about seven and a half years. So here it is here, and um, because it's got a bit of pink on it, you know, I actually really enjoyed it. Like, it was the first pink bit of or clothing with a bit of pink in that I ever owned. And from that, when I moved back to England, I wore this when I was doing sixth form. When I was in sixth form, and I used to wear it every single Wednesday, and we used to call it Gay Wednesday. I would hang around with my girl pals or mates. And, yeah, we would just talk about girly stuff, or stuff that girls talk about, not like, yeah, girly stuff, <laughs> not like fairies and things like that. It was, 
It was a very interesting concept, I suppose, and one that I actually quite enjoyed. You know, it's a bit of a different from hanging out with the guys or playing football or whatever it is we used to do at that stage. And yeah, I've just since then I've forever called it my gay shirt. Not in a bad way, in a very affectionate way, actually. Uh, it is a shame that it's it is gone. I do have a couple of other pink shirts, but nothing like that. I mean, you know, that is a a brilliant shirt. I can't remember how much it was. It must have been about seventy euros at the time, and that was when the exchange rate was pretty in was pretty favourable to the pound. So yeah, and it's a shame that it's it is ripped. But hey, this is what these channel updates are for. You know, you, I get to talk to you a bit about my life, I suppose. And you guys get to pretend that you really care. Well, no one does, but I like it, obviously. Right, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm pretty tired now, so I'm going to go to bed. And then I need us to know that, but I'm going to go to bed. And I will surely make some videos when I'm off next. And got lots coming up. So lots on the Steam box as well. When I get around to filming it, of course, and that's going to take a bit of setting up. But it will be done. Thank you for watching, everybody, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.